Cerebral infarction and ischemia may be due to large vessel disease, small vessel disease, venous infarction and global ischemia. Large vessel disease is when there is thrombosis or embolism of main named arteries supplying the brain. The infarcts are initially pale, then hemorrhagic, then they become soft and finally gliosis replaces the dead tissue. Large infarcts may become fluid filled spaces surrounded by gliosis. The congested area in the left cerebral hemisphere at the bottom of the picture is caused by a cerebral infarct. This is another example of a recent cerebral infarct. Small vessel disease is caused by hypertensive or diabetic hyaline arteriolosclerosis. Lacuna infarcts may occur in the internal capsule, thalamus, basal ganglia and pons. These are usually less than one centimeter in diameter. They may be asymptomatic or cause restricted neurological deficits and pseudo-Parkinsonism. Venous infarction is caused by thrombosis of cerebral cortical veins and venous sinuses. This results in hemorrhagic infarction. Causes of venous infarction include dehydration, infections such as an infected middle ear, polycythemia, the contraceptive pill and pregnancy. This is an example of cavernous sinus thrombosis. Here is another example of sinus thrombosis. This slice of brain shows a hemorrhagic infarct due to cortical vein thrombosis. Watershed infarcts are caused by reduction of the blood flow in arterial boundary zones, for example in hypotension. This pot of cerebellum shows bilateral watershed infarcts. Global ischemia is caused by a reduction in the cerebral blood flow or oxygenation. It can cause cortical laminar necrosis. The cerebral cortex becomes shrunken with loss of white matter. Causes of global ischemia include cardiac arrest, severe hypotension, severe hypoglycemia and carbon monoxide poisoning.